Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Sky News under the main headline of No Survivors in China Eastern Airlines Crash. State Broadcaster says. Summary of headline article. There are no survivors following the crash of a Chinese airliner carrying 132 people. The country's state broadcaster has confirmed. The China Eastern Airlines plane was flying from Kunming to the eastern city of Guangzhou when it crashed in a mountainous area near the city of Wuzhou in the country's south on Monday. China has nearly 1,200 737 to 800 s. And all of those in China Eastern's fleet have been grounded. According to state media. Image. Investigators are starting to look into the cause of the crash those accidents killed 612 people. According to the Aviation Safety Network. Access to crash site will be difficult for investigators investigators from the CAAC and from China. Eastern have already been sent to the site. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war. Zelensky urges talks with Putin. Biden flags clear sign. Russia considering chemical weapons. Live. Summary of headline article. 606 Russia's invasion of Ukraine is primarily Vladimir Putin's war. But if there is a second man whose name and reputation will be tied to the devastation unleashed by Moscow it is Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov. His fighters were part of the first wave assault on the country and died in large numbers around the Hostomel airbase. With one key commander among those killed. Elite Chechen squads were also reportedly recruited for failed attempts to assassinate key Ukrainian leaders in the first 48 hours of the invasion. Western intelligence said. More recently Kadyrov's men have appeared among forces imposing a brutal siege on the port city of Mariupol, where targets have included a maternity hospital and the suffering of hundreds of thousands has become emblematic of Ukrainian pain. Read the full story below. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Russia admits almost 10,000 soldiers dead and more injured in Ukraine invasion. Summary of headline article. A pro-Kremlin newspaper quoted a Russian defense ministry official as saying that the actual number of its soldiers that have died since the Ukraine invasion began stands at 9,861 Russia admits almost 10,000 soldiers dead and more injured in Ukraine invasion the Russian army has lost almost 10,000 soldiers in less than a month since the invasion of Ukraine. A pro-Kremlin newspaper revealed before quickly scrubbing the figures. Meanwhile. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that it would not be possible to negotiate an end to the war in his country without meeting Putin. Since Russian troops poured into Ukraine last month, Zelensky has issued increasingly urgent calls for talks to end the fighting. Last week he called for a meeting quickly so that Russia could limit the losses caused by its mistakes. Zelensky said Ukraine is well aware it cannot be admitted into NATO now. From The Guardian under the main headline of Absolutely Terrible. Two women dead after violent incident at Malmo School. Summary of headline article. Two women died after being stabbed at a high school in southern Sweden on Monday. Police said. Adding that an 18-year-old student had been arrested. The two women both in their 50s, were employees of the school. The police said in a statement following the attack at Malmo Latinskola, a secondary school in the center of Malmo, the country's third largest city. This is absolutely terrible, the school principal Frederick Hemensjo told the Aftenbladet newspaper. Police were alerted around 5.15 p.m. 
1615 GMT, and a first patrol was able to enter the school. The first police patrol on site was able to arrive at the school and arrest a male suspect. From Huff Post under the main headline of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe praised for speaking her mind. After, vile, Twitter attacks. Summary of headline article. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe has been praised for speaking her mind, after some, vile, Twitter. Attacks were launched following her criticism of the government. On Monday, the charity worker was outspoken about conservative ministers for taking six years to secure her release from prison in Iran. From Sky News under the main headline of Toddler Mauled to Death by Dog Her Family Had Owned For Just One Week. Summary of Headline Article a toddler has died after being attacked by a dog at her own home. Merseyside police have said. Officers received a report of a dog attack at an address on Bidston Avenue. Black Brick in St. Helens at around 3.50 p.m. Detective Inspector Lisa Milligan said. This is a tragic incident and our thoughts are with the child's family at this devastating time. The little girl's parents and wider family are absolutely devastated and our specialist family. Liaison officers are providing them with support at this horrendous time. Forensic tests are to be carried out on the dog to establish whether it was an illegal breed under the Dangerous Dogs Act. 1991. From Daily Star under the main headline of Prince Andrew to attend Phillips Memorial in first. Appearance since settlement. Summary of headline article. Prince Andrew will attend the memorial service for Prince Philip next week. According to his spokesman, the scandal hit Duke of York would be making his first appearance in public since his out of court settlement with Virginia Geoffrey last month. Andrew, who is Philip and the Queen's third son is planning to visit the event at Westminster Abbey on Tuesday, March 29. The Queen is also expected to to be at the service next week. And will be joined by some of Philip's friends, colleagues and members of organizations he supported. Her Majesty, 95, has recently recovered from COVID, which Prince Charles and Camilla also tested positive for. From the Independent under the main headline of Russian airstrike on Kyiv sees destruction of shopping mall in Podilsky. Summary of headline article. The foreboding has been that Russian forces frustrated at failing to take Kyiv. The main prize sought by Vladimir Putin would start pulverizing the city with heavy artillery. Eight people were killed and dozens are said to be missing under the rubble at the Retroville Mall. The Kremlin maintained that the shopping complex hid an underground munitions storage facility, making it a legitimate target. Residents two sets of roads away from the mall heard the explosion before the glass in their windows went flying. There was a gym at the shopping mall which I used. But of course that's gone now. From the Independent under the main headline of P&O Ferries accused of paying agency staff, £1.80 an hour, following mass layoffs. Summary of headline article. Indian agency workers recently employed by P&O Ferries are being paid as little as £1.80 an hour. A union has claimed. For example. Some vessels operated by P&O ferries are flagged in Cyprus. P&O ferries refused to comment on the pay of agency workers. On Monday, MPs voted 211 votes to zero to back a Labour motion condemning the decision of P&O ferries to sack staff and demanding their immediate reinstatement. The government has given P&O ferries a deadline of Tuesday. 5 p.m. to answer questions related to recent events which will then inform next steps. From BBC under the main headline of Ukraine war. 
Holocaust survivor killed by Russian shelling in Kharkiv. Summary of headline article. He returned to Buchenwald in 2012 to celebrate the 67th anniversary of the liberation of the camp by U.S. troops, where he recited the pledge made by survivors to create a new world where peace and freedom reign. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.